This is the southern eastern part of the Peshawar Basin, Pakistan. Uh, here we will talk about and see the typical example of spiral weathering. Uh, we know uh, spiral weathering, also known as spiral uh, weathering or onion skin weathering, is a process by which our uh, concentric or uh, spherical shells of decayed rocks are formed due to the chemical weathering. This type of weathering typically occurs in a homogeneous fine grain like uh, granite or basalt, is a typical example. Here, this is the basalt, and initially, uh, we, we, we talk about the reasons. So, the first reason is initial fracturing. The process of plane begin with a small cracks or joint in the rock, which allows water and other uh, weathering agents to penetrate. Second reason is the chemical processes. Uh, now, what happened to the chemical processes is all oxygen, like oxygen uh, in the water uh, and carbon dioxide in the water, react with the chemicals in the rock. And this chemical reaction causes the outer layer of the rock to decay and disintegrate. Uh, another reason, which is the third one, concentric shells formation, is the outer layers weathered the way the process move inward, creating concentric shells of the decayed minerals. The inner layers are the progressively exposed weathered agents, leading to the formation of spiral or onion like layers physical weathering in addition to the chemical processes physical weathering such as the expansion and contraction of the rock due to uh, temperature uh, changes can also contribute to formation of these shells which is the fourth reason now outputs resulting from uh, um, these processes over time the rock takes are on a rounded shape with a layer that can be peeled away like an onion uh, you can see here uh, in the typical example hence the name onion skin weathering is also uh, powerful for that so that weathering is a absorbed in arid and semi-arid region where the physical and chemical weathering processes are pronouns the where yeah, the physical and chemical weathering processes are pronouns so this is an arid area uh, where i'm standing